And you can see we've got some other options here as well. Once I'm done and I'm happy, I can tick and save or I can share it with somebody. Again, that's a really neat feature. To be able to use the features that I've just shown you, you will need to go into your settings menu and make a few changes. So for example, if we go into the settings menu here, then select special features. And then we're going to select this option here that says gestures and motions. And so if you see, we'll come to back to this top section in a moment. So let's just have a look at this one. So make sure you enable these two options here. So the first one, swipe down with three fingers to take screenshot. And the second one, touch and hold with three fingers to take screenshot. And that's to take a partial or scrolling screenshot. So make sure you enable those two. So let's go back here, screen off gestures. Again, make sure it's enabled. And as you can see, so you've got the option here, double tap to wake or turn off screen, draw an O to open camera, draw a V to turn flashlight on and off. Then you've also got music controls here. In fact, let's just have a look at that whilst we are here. So for music controls, you can see you can use two fingers to draw line downwards on the screen to stop or resume music playback and draw either to the left or arrow to the right to play the previous or next song, even when the screen is off. So again, useful information there, very useful. Okay, so again, do make sure that these three options are on. So once you've done all of that, then you'll be able to perform the functions that I showed you earlier. What I'm going to do now is just give you a demonstration of how the gestures work. So rather than just me telling you, if I show it to you, I think it'll be pretty cool. All right, so you can see, so this is a demonstration. So right, I'm going to do this with you. So it says keep your hand 20 to 40 centimeters from the front camera, which is on the top left there. Okay, yep, so I've got my hands back up and then you move your hand up. Hopefully that should answer the call. Let's flick it, hands up to answer the call. Oh, sweet. I'm pretty good at this. <laughs> and then I think to end the call, sit down like this. Oh, one to button to mute. Oh, like this to mute the call. Oh, that's pretty neat, I have to say. I've decided that since I'm so good at this air gestures, I'm going to continue by performing the scroll up and down with the hand air gestures so you can see it for yourself. Okay, so let's tap on that. So say something here, let's have a look, share it together. Hold your palm 20 to 40 centimeters from the camera with your fingertips. Okay, where prompt appears at the top of the screen. Flick your hand down to scroll the page down. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, and then I'll see, I guess, the reverse to scroll up and then change the scrolling direction. Okay, it's interesting. Okay, so let me enable it here and then let's go for the learn gestures. Let's see how I do. All right, so okay, so right, so keep my hand right, okay, yep. 24 from the camera onto the screen with your pointed up. Yeah, they are. Flick hand down to scroll down. Okay, let's do that again. Oh, that is pretty neat. <laughs> Hold the back of your hand up to the screen. Yeah, move your hand up slightly. Okay. Let's do this. Oh, that's pretty neat. There, you seen it yourself. But that pretty much wraps it up for this episode. My name is Shalo. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in another episode. Peace.